What's good, Houston? It's Mo here back again with another episode of Kicking It. This week, we've got Girl Dad and Houston Dynamo FC striker, Christian Ramirez. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Mo back again with another episode of Kicking It. And today, we've got everybody's favorite girl dad, Christian Ramirez. What's up, man? How you doing? What's up? Good, good. Good to have you. We're just going to jump right into segment one. Uh, it's something that I feel like not a lot of people ask you about, but if... if uh, if you've been around you like like I have over the last couple of years and then follow you on, on social media, you kind of know this about Christian Ramirez, but you're kind of a foodie. Um, you're always asking people where, where you can pick yeah. up some food around around the town. Um, what What is it about food? What is it about your passion uh, for food? How did you develop that? Uh, I think it's something that like my wife and I started doing when we first started dating. We started to adventure out on Fridays. Um, I've actually been trying to push her to let me food vlog it uh, whenever we go to like give it like a rating um, every and like just to do something in Houston like that that I think would be pretty cool to connect with the fans. Um, but she hasn't given me the green light yet. Um, so I'm hopeful that, that that that's something that can happen soon. What are some of your favorite spots that you've discovered so far? Ah, man. Um, or just different types of food that you didn't think yeah. necessarily you would find in Houston. I have a list of like places that I've gone to. Um, so I'm trying to do just go to one place once and not go back until I, I fill the list. Uh, okay. But I, I'm, oh, I tried a uh, black market birria. I don't even that know was, what that is. It's a, it's a food truck. Um, that was, that was incredible. My, my wife, uh, and this was because Memo recommended it, tried Lotus seafood, because I don't like seafood. Um, but I, I had their like fried rice, uh, and I, I liked it here in Pearland, so that was a, a good one as well. Um, but I'm all like, I'm all for any type of food, ma mainly Latin foods. But the second part of you being a foodie, man, is, is and I always see this on your Instagram stories, uh, you and your wife, you mentioned something the other day that like she can't admit that you're a better chef or something. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> no. That. So I I started following a couple accounts on on Instagram to to like to spice up our food menu because I felt like we we were just making the same things over and over. Um, and I'll buy the ingredients and she'll cook them, but every now and then I like to take credit for them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so she she gets upset about that, but. I, I keep the simple stuff when when uh, when she she's busy putting the girls to sleep or something or I I'm I'm the big breakfast uh, cook Ooh. so I'll, I'll make like the French toast or or I've I've been on the chilaquiles trend lately uh, which okay. which is bomb so um, but breakfast is all I try and stick to cooking wise. This specific segment's more about uh, I noticed last year you had some specialty made pleats for. Um, for the legend Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk a little, I just want to know a little bit about that and like kind of, you know, what his legacy means to you specifically as as uh, an athlete. Like, did, you know, what what's that mean? I know people always talk about Mamba mentality, you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah. you as an LA kid and an athlete, like, what does that mean to you? What What's that What's that snap or what does that do to you when um, you're getting ready? I think just growing up, um, idolizing him and he embodied everything that it was to be LA. Um, he was diverse in culture and language. Um, anyone from LA could relate to him. Um, and he didn't run from the LA spotlight. He, he embraced it and, and wanted to bring the glory to LA. And um, I think that model that he, he became um, because it wasn't given to him. That was the thing is everything he, he got, he earned and he showed that, uh, to the city and the city loved him for that. And he became the city. Um, and for me growing up during that time, I never missed a Laker game. I still don't miss a Laker game because of him. Um, and so I just felt like a part of me was gone. Um, and I'll never forget that day when I woke up from from a, a nap after one of the sessions and uh, to, I think it was 34 missed calls from my family and I was worried because I didn't know what was going on and that was the news that was broken to me. And for the next month, it was hard to, to sleep because now being a father of two girls, um, I couldn't 
I couldn't get over the fact of those last moments that he probably had. I mean, I just pray for Vanessa and, and their family and uh, try and try and live his legacy out in the way that, that he was he was doing both on and off the field. Being able to work when nobody's watching and the hours that, that you put in um, in the end will will show and the results will show of it. Um, and he embodied that and he, I think, passed that on to the, the next generations and the future generations of, of that mentality, like you said. And um, it's something that, that needs to be carried on and I don't think it'll ever go away. I truly believe that. And that's a good segue into this last segment because something even outside the courts or the fields or the pitches um, or the gym or wherever you're putting in work, uh, I feel like Kobe also influenced uh, a whole new generation of dads. Um, and you're one of those guys. You're a girl dad. You mentioned it quite a few times. Uh, you're one of my favorite follows on Instagram with your family and everything like that. Like, y'all, you guys are adorable. Y'all are so tight. Y'all are working out together. Uh, <laughs> You know, uh, because of that, we did this with Memo, as you're wearing that shirt right there. Uh, we did this with Memo because he's a brand new dad. Uh, but we're going to play a quick game of this or that dad edition. So uh, okay. just I'm going to ask some quick questions and then off the top of your dome, go ahead and give me some answers on uh, on whatever you think. In the future, are the girls going to take the bus home or are you going to be one of the dads that picks them up? Picks them up. Danny Tanner from Full House or Carl Winslow? From Family Matters. Carl Winslow. Dad bod or dad jokes? After soccer, dad bod for sure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, dad hat or dad jeans? Uh, dad hat. You're going to be the cool dad or the stern dad? The cool dad, the cool dad. Word. All right. And the last one, which dad superpower do you want to develop and conquer the most? Master of the grill or Mr. Fix Anything? Master of the grill, because I can't do fix anything. I call Memo to come help me fix stuff. All right, man. Dude, thanks so much for sparing us oh. a little bit of time. This was just a quick get to know Christian Ramirez. Uh, kick it with you. Hopefully once COVID clears up, man, we can, you know, uh, show you some more awesome Houston spots, uh, get to eat, enjoy the ambiance and some actual fresh food instead of getting the takeout, you know? Um, but yeah, thanks again yeah, so much. For sure. Awesome. All Take right. it easy. Appreciate Christian. it. Thanks for having me.